Thank you for your purchase of the Fallows Proteus Laminator. To achieve the best laminating results, please make sure to follow our best results guidelines. Ensure your laminator is on a stable surface such as a desk or table. Make sure you are using the right sized pouch for the document you are laminating. Make sure the document is centered within the pouch, touching the leading sealed edge. Insert the pouch into the laminator with sealed edge first. Be sure to keep the pouch straight on entry. Following the best results guidelines will help ensure consistent quality laminating. If you still have questions about your laminating machine, here are a few important features to know about. The laminator is turned on by a switch on the rear of the machine. The Proteus has the capability for cold and hot laminating. Cold laminating is the default setting when the machine is on, so let's talk about cold laminating first. For cold laminating, select the cold function. When the ready lamp is on, select speed 2 or 3 and laminate cold pouches. Next, let's talk about hot laminating. Select the hot function. The temperature will automatically select 90 degrees Celsius. The rollers will start turning when the temperature is above 60 degrees Celsius. When the ready lamp is on, the machine is ready to start hot laminating. Be sure to select the motor speed best suited to the pouch thickness you are using. Refer to the chart on the machine for this. The machine will automatically select the optimum laminating temperature. Laminating temperatures can also be adjusted manually as required. When you are done laminating, it is very important to follow these steps to turn off the laminator. Be sure to never turn off the laminator when it's hot. Select the cold function. The machine will set the temperature at 0 degrees Celsius and the motor speed at 2. When the roller temperature has cooled to below 60 degrees Celsius, it will stop automatically. Switch the power off using the switch on the back of the machine. Following these steps will preserve the rollers. Here are some other aspects of your laminating machine you will need to know. Resetting the thermal reset switch and replacing the fuse. Sometimes when the machine becomes too hot, the thermal reset switch will be activated. This switch will have to be reset. If your laminator has power but won't heat up, you may need to reset the switch. A good way to tell if your laminator has power is if the display is lit. Turn the power switch off. Unplug the machine from the main supply. Allow the machine to cool for 30 to 60 minutes. Safely support the machine to access the underside. Using a Phillips screwdriver, open the cover plate. Insert a pen through the hole and press the metal switch until it snaps closed. Replace the cover plate and the screws. Power on the machine. The Proteus is fitted with a fuse. The fuse is located between the main switch and the main socket on the rear of the machine. If you have the laminator turned on but there is no power, you may need to replace a fuse. To replace the fuse, contact Fellows Customer Service and order part number 207785 to receive a replacement. It's important to always use Fellows Recommended Fuse 10 Amps. Unplug the machine from the main supply. Open the fuse holder with a flathead screwdriver. Remove the old fuse and insert the new fuse into the holder. Replace the fuse holder into the machine. For additional information on our Proteus Laminator, please refer to your product manual or see the Frequently Asked Questions section at fellows.com.